What's up everyone and welcome to a new tutorial. My name is Kyler Holland and today we're checking out a difference mat. Now what is the difference mat effect? Well basically it is a way for you to create transparency in a clip by comparing the source clip with a difference clip and then it will also key out those pixels in the source clip that match the position and color of your difference clip. Now, if I lost you already, don't worry, I'm gonna go over everything in this tutorial, but I'm using it as a transition. Let's check it out. Dude. That was sick. Alrighty, so now we are in Premiere Pro and I would really appreciate it if you take this time to click that like button because it seriously helps out the channel and motivates me to keep making videos. Thanks. In order to do this effect, all you have to do is drag your video that you are transitioning into over the clip that you are coming from just like so. And then go to the effects tab and type in difference and then under keying, drag the difference mat effect onto your top video layer. Your video is gonna basically disappear. And why is that? Well, under the effects controls, you'll see the difference mat effect and we want to select a difference layer. Since this video layer right here is our source layer, we are going to make the difference layer video one. And as soon as you do that, you're instantly gonna notice something going on. So let's go down through each of these three effects and show you what they do. So for starters, if you drag this matching tolerance all the way to zero, this is the clip that we're transitioning into. And if you drag the matching tolerance all the way to 100, this is the clip that we're transitioning from. Now I would leave this around 50% so you can see what the other effects are doing. As you can see, it looks a little choppy and it's kind of going all over the place. The cool thing is it's actually using the information from the video one layer. As you can see, it's starting to match the grass right here and not the road. So that's pretty cool. So I'm gonna leave this about 50% so I can show you what the other effects do. Matching softness. If you drag that up, it will basically soften the match. So if you drag it all the way up to 100%, it looks like a pretty soft match and you can't really get the entire effect. So I typically leave this around 50% or if I'm trying to do glitchy, I'll just leave it around zero to 10%. All right, so now the blur before difference is basically controlling this blur before that difference happens. And it's kind of confusing, but if you drag that up, it softens out the image quite a bit. And now if you play around with the matching tolerance, you can see that we can't really get the full effect. So in order to do this, we're actually gonna have to keyframe the matching tolerance and the matching softness in order to get that complete transition. All you're going to wanna do is drag your matching tolerance all the way to 100% and add a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch right here. And you can drag this to the beginning and let's zoom in up here a little bit. I typically like holding shift and the right arrow key about twice because when you hit that two times, it'll jump five frames in each direction. So now this is about 10 frames and I'm gonna drag my matching tolerance all the way to 0%. And now if we play this back, it's kind of like a quick almost luma fade, but it's using the values in each clip. All right, so now that we did that, that's the basic transition. Now we can start to manip manipulate the matching softness. For example, I like to go to the beginning, add a keyframe, drag this matching softness all the way up to 100%, and then I'm gonna go to this next keyframe right here and drag this all the way down to 0%. So what that, does is it starts off nice and soft and then as we go through it gets a little bit more choppy so that is the quick and simple version of how to do this effect keep in mind you can play around with this blur before difference if you want to drag that up to say about a hundred you'll get a softer transition all right so now i want to show you a quick glitch example because these are where I think this effect is going to go crazy. 
We have this clip right here and we want to transition into this clip right here. So again, we're gonna go to the effects tab and drag on difference mat onto our top video layer and change the difference layer to video one since our difference clip is on the bottom, video one layer. And we're going to play around with the matching tolerance. If we don't change any of the settings, it already looks pretty glitchy and kind of like almost data moshing, which is kind of cool. What we can do is go to the beginning and this one is gonna be keyframe by keyframe. So now that we're at the beginning, you can play around with this matching tolerance. I'm gonna start at, let's say, 20, and that will blend these clips together a little bit. I'm gonna add a keyframe, and then I'm gonna go one frame by clicking the right arrow key, and I'm going to add another keyframe, let's say 50. Right arrow key, let's change this to 10. Right arrow key, let's change this to 80. Right arrow key, let's go back down to 30. And you get the idea. Keep doing this over and over again until you get a couple keyframes. And when you are finished with this transition, make sure you end on 0% because that will make sure that it has completed the transition into the clip you want to transition into. And then you can just delete the bottom half of that clip because you don't need it anymore. But if you play this back, look what it looks like. As you can see, it's almost like a stutter effect, but this is where the fun part happens because now we can go in here and look at these keyframes and play around with them by clicking, dragging them, moving some all over the place, getting some different variations, and honestly, that will all give you a cool effect as long as you end on zero. Another thing I like to do is, as you'll see in between these two keyframes, our keyframes are slowly going to move like that. So if you don't like the look of this slow move, where it kind of like is organic almost, you can actually come back into your keyframes, highlight all of them, right click and select hold. As soon as you do hold, it will actually hold those keyframes so that it will not move in between them. And that gives you a completely different look. So to recap, in order to do this transition, drag your video that you wanna transition into on top of your video layer, add the difference mat effect, and play around with the matching tolerance, matching softness, and blur before difference. Well, I really hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it, and I didn't even know this effect existed. Play around with it because you can get some really soft, almost bloom transitions, as well as some really cool glitch transitions in there as well. And if you do, send me whatever you make on Instagram, and I'll be sure to check it out at Kyler Holland. Well, as always, click that like button and let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you next time.